Sailing requires wind, engines require gas or diesel, electric motors require electricity from the grid, but now all I need is a sunny day. But first I should back up the cart just a little bit so you know what the heck I'm talking about. This is my Remigo One electric outboard motor. Ignore the motor that's behind it. That's for another video. Shh. This is the charging block I use for the Remigo One. So this plugs into the top of the motor and this plugs into my outlet in my house. What if we could just plug this straight into the sun? I have this charger right here, which looks a lot like the other charger. They're in the exact same block, I think, or very similar, but they have different stickers on them. And this one has these on the other end because I now have this. It's a 200 watt portable folding solar panel. Remigo sells these on their website and I believe you get a discount if you're interested in buying something like this for your Remigo One. All we have to do is connect this little magnetic kill switch to be able to see our battery status. So right now our battery is here and one, two, three, four more bars is fully charged. That's enough for us to do a test to see about recharging it. I'm gonna stick a little piece of painter's tape on here to mark just where this is charged up to. See how it's kind of pointing to that? So that way we can see how many more bars we add and how quickly we add them. Okay, with our tape installed, let's wheel this out, you know, into the sun, because that makes more sense if you're gonna try some solar charging, right? So for this experiment to work, we need sun. We need this box here, and we need our Remigo solar panels. Now some of you people who know a lot about solar know how to hook this stuff up and know how it works. Me, I, I have no clue. This is my first time doing anything solar. These um, have magnets in them, and I think the way it works, these are like tilt-out legs. And I think, there we go. Well, that didn't work too good, did it? Which end do we plug in first? I don't know. So I'm gonna plug it into the motor first and then plug in those connectors. And these other connectors only plug in one way. So let's do the black ones first and then the red ones. And supposedly we see a light. I see a red light. I'm thinking a red light means it's charging and a green light means it's fully charged. Maybe, don't know. So we've got some sun there. The sun is coming this way. So I'll lay these farther back in a little while and let's just let this go and see what happens for a bit. We've already gained one bar right now, just that quickly. Let me set a stopwatch on my phone. Yeah, we're already one bar up. I'm gonna shoot this with my cell phone while my stopwatch is running right now, so you can see. As you can see, we're up one bar already and I just plugged this thing in a minute ago. Here we are plugged in down here. You can see the red light on top of that. And you can see we have the three kick out feet on this. Oh, and some of you may be wondering what the dimensions are. Aha, I can tell you. And I'll convert them to metric too. My tape measure is in US units. So it's in football field lengths or chickens or something that we use here. Let's see. 
All right, so unfolded, this thing is 92 inches wide. And it is 22 and a half inches tall. So 92 wide, 22 and a half tall. And when it's folded, I think it's like uh, 25 by 22. That's about what one of these are this way, so. Oh, I'm blocking sunlight. Precious sunlight. Okay, so the one bar that was on now just went off. Oh, now it's back on again. Now it's off. So it's like actually kind of blinking that first bar. So supposedly, according to the Romigo One website, or the Romigo website, this charges faster than a DC to DC charger, meaning the one that uses a car plug-in adapter to be able to charge it. And another important thing about this stuff is with any solar array, you're not supposed to disconnect the solar array when it's under load. I actually just now setting it down flat here. And these little plugs right here, they actually have that embossed on them that says, do not disconnect under load. And I looked that up because I didn't know what that meant. So under load, I assume means when everything's connected and hooked up. So I would think that if I unplugged this end of it, that eliminates the load, but also maybe the load is just input. And so with a small array like this, one of the things that's nice is that, you know, it's not like solar panels on your house. Like what I can do with this is I literally can just, uh, I can just completely fold this up and then it's no longer under load. See what I'm saying? Matter of fact, it's made the red light go out on this box. So I know we're not under load anymore. Now it's safe for me to disconnect these. So if you do go down the solar road and you're new to solar, Try to read up about some of those kinds of things because it's, some people would call it common sense, but I don't call it common sense because I wouldn't think that unplugging a plug would matter, but I guess because there's potentially so much voltage flowing through that it is an issue. Let's set this run for a while and see what happens. While we're letting the sun do its thing out there. Let's talk about this just a little bit. This setup is made by, or made for, Remigo, for the Remigo One. E-Propulsion offers a similar setup for the E-Propulsion Spirit 1.0 Plus. And I imagine for people who know what they're doing, they could configure their own kind of solar setup for this, or be able to plug this into existing solar arrays. In certain situations, for certain users, this is a way to be able to recharge your electric outboard when you don't have access to electricity, but you do have access to sunlight. So I get it, it's not for all of you. But for those of you who are interested in this and do like it, I'll put a link in the video description and probably in the comments to the Romigo One website. You can get a discount to order these things either the Remigo One or the Solar or any of the other accessories, if you're so inclined to do that. Oh, and by the way, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a like. Please be sure to comment. I read all the comments. And also, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to the channel. All of those things help these videos get noticed by the audience that they're intended for, and they help me. Uh, so I, I do appreciate that. And for all of you who are subscribers, thank you so much for being a subscriber. I really do appreciate it. And my frequent commenters, I appreciate you as well. Okay, so it's been 30 minutes and uh, let's see how we're doing. We are still only up that one bar. That one bar that it's lit up right away when I plugged this in, we're still there. And the other one has now just started blinking above it. So let's just say we're getting a bar every 30 minutes. 
So for it to get four bars worth, that's going to take, uh, what, two hours of good sunlight. I'm going to try to tweak the angle a little bit more because the sun's a bit higher. This is getting hot now. Try to get it as laid back as we can. All right, as we're coming up on an hour here, I know some of you guys like some specs and data, so let me share some of those with you. The solar panel setup is a 200 watt setup. It's IP67 rated. Now what IP67 rating means is that it is water resistant, somewhat waterproof, so it can get wet. Now because it's a 200 watt system, apparently I guess that's it's sort of like max absolute potential. So it has an output of 100 to 150 watts under sunny conditions. According to the website, that's apparently faster than a DC to DC charger. I don't have all of the kind of equipment to be able to test the voltage flows through the line or amps or any of that kind of stuff. Mostly what I look at with these kinds of things is, does a product do what it's supposed to do? Does it work as advertised? And how well does it work? Now that we're coming up on an hour, let's, uh, let's go out and take a look and see where we are. All right, the sun's a bit higher. I haven't changed the angle of this in a little while, but we now have two bars. So basically we're getting a bar every 30 minutes with this being in direct sunlight and it's a very clear day today. There's no clouds. Another hour and this would be fully charged. Well, that's not fast. Uh, I hope you weren't expecting it to be super fast. That's just a very small solar array and it's, 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 it's foldable and portable. But the idea that you can get some power back is, is pretty cool. You know, if you were using this Remigo one and you went out for a while and you had space on your boat to set this solar system out there and you were fishing for a while or hanging out with your friends for a while, this would put some more charge in your battery. Now, as for me, Every time I've gone out with this motor, it's got more than enough juice to do everything that I want to do. But if you're doing like a camping trip or whatever, where you're going to be away from electricity and you want to be able to use that motor periodically, that's a pretty nice portable setup. It doesn't take up much space. It's not very bulky when it's all folded up and you could recharge your motor countless times in the right conditions. Anyway, Thank you so much for watching. Here's the next video YouTube has picked for you. I'm Wayne the Boat Guy and I'll see you in that video.